Glenn Anderson's dream isn't dead yet. Now he's got Tiffany Williams on his side. Anderson wants to play in the Olympics, but the NHL Board of Governors won't honor the escape clause in his contract. So Tiffany's come to Ottawa, armed with her own contract, a petition signed by thousands of fans hoping to see Anderson on Team Canada. And I was thinking that he has five Stanley Cups and not a gold medal or a medal of Olympics. So I was wondering why can he go um, to the Olympics? No one, not even Tiffany, is sure why the NHL won't let him go. MP John Nunziata feels the American governors are helping the U.S. team by keeping Glenn Anderson off the Canadian team. Hockey is our game. We have the best players in the world. And here we are being told by an outfit uh, headquartered in uh, New York City that we can't field or ice our best possible hockey team in the circumstances, and, and I consider that unfortunate. But Anderson's 33 and in the twilight of his career, and no Canadian governor would second the motion either. In the meantime, Team Canada is off to Europe without him. We're not really in a position to determine Glenn's fate, unfortunately, and I think everyone respects that, but it's sure nice to know that we've got the backing of a, a young lady like that, and certainly by the sounds of it, uh, more than just that, it goes beyond this young lady, uh, obviously. So, you know, we're happy that people are behind Glenn especially, because I think it's his, been his dream more than anyone else's to participate in this Olympics. Until now, the Liberals have stayed at arm's length on this issue. As for Tiffany, she plans to plead her case to Commissioner Gary Bettman. Well, I'm going to tell him that we Canadians across Canada want Glenn Anderson to go and the people have signed the petition to send him. But keep in mind the NHL is a business, a self-serving business, and all the political prolix and petitions in the world isn't likely to change that. That's because the NHL is committed to the Dream Team concept and already made a schedule proposal to the International Olympic Committee for the 1998 Winter Games in Japan. Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Ottawa.